gadget of the day. This is actually something I got to get a little sneak peek on before CES even. And joining Simon is Vernie. Yes. One of the many robots that you can make with Lego Boost, but you take it away because yeah. you are the champion of all things Lego Boost. Yes, so Lego Boost is a new product line that's coming out in August of this year. And there are five different models. And as you said, this is Vernie. Vernie is our robot friend, so he's one of the five models. And basically what Lego Boost does is it enables kids to add the behavior to their models. So with the experience, they need to download an app that's for tablets. And then everything that they need in the experience is in the app. So they build from building instructions that are in the app as well. And when I remind me too, when we were going through the different coding and, and how you, know, you can build and code and then something obviously is created from that string. Is that a proprietary coding language? that you're using in that? Mm, yes. 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 Okay. So it's a language that we've been developing for some time with some collaborators externally uh, to give some input, but it is our language that we've developed internally at LEGO. Very cool. Yeah. So I can actually show you a bit of that language if you'd like to see it. Yes. So this is actually the area, or the coding canvas as we call it, that the kids will then create code to, to add behaviors to their models. And right now you can see it's quite messy because as part of the, the show, we're doing lots of demos to people. So I've just made bits of code. But this is exactly how we want the kids to play with it. It's an environment that you can tinker around, you can drag around these blocks. If you don't like them, you can throw them away. Uh, and down here you have these different tabs. And uh, if we pull up a little play trigger, this is what, if we press it, we'll play the rest of the code. And let's pull up a move block, which is green. You can even zoom into the area, so you want to you can focus on a particular part of your code. And then if I press play, Vernie acts out that uh, command. So then kids can try out some different commands. They can even put them into a little string. And then you can see that then there's electricity that runs through the code as he's acting out the, uh, the code. So there's lots of different movements that they can do with, uh, with Vernie. He can also introduce himself so he can speak to you. So with this one here, he can uh, say his name. Hello, my name is Vernie. So he has a voice. He also has a bit of a personality that we've, uh, that we've given him. He can uh, ask you questions. What is your name? Simon. That's a nice name. So here we've actually coded a little uh, uh, conversation. And the way it works is that he asked this question, which is this question mark uh, block, this purple one here. Then there is a microphone in the tablet that's waiting to hear my response. Ah. It doesn't know that I said Simon, but it hears a spike in sound, which then continues the code and then his response to that. And it means that the kids can create all manner of different conversations with Vernie. Also, they'll be able to record their own voice into the app and then put a filter over their voice, which sounds like Vernie's robotic voice, which means they can make all kinds of phrases for Vernie to, to play. Well, what's fascinating to me too is, when we, you and I had spoke last time, we talked about Vernie, but also there's so many iterations of things you can create in the five hero kind of models, from the cat to the guitar, but also sky's the limit. I mean, you could build out a number of different characters exactly. using your imagination. Yep. So the way that the guitar works is that there is a, one piece of the hardware is a sensor, and it's a combination sensor. It can sense different colors if you place a color close to it. It can also sense distance. And in this, and in this instance, it's sensing where the slider is on the fret bar. So it knows that this is in the yellow zone, the green zone, the red zone, etc. And then those zones in the code are then assigned a, in this case, a guitar riff. That's awesome. At the other end here, we have a trigger. This is a motor. And the motor is then connected to uh, the little uh, uh, trigger that we have here. And the motors have a rotation sensor in them, which means we can use it as a input. Mm. So if we push it so far, it will then trigger the block of code to play the sound of where this is. So it means that you can actually then play a little song. And I've been playing this a little while, so I know the timing. Yeah, you're pretty good at this. Yeah. <laughs> and then down here, you have a whammy bar. So you can oh, also sweet. learn how to modify the sound with the whammy yep. bar. Yep. And then at the top here, you have a sound selector. This cycles through some different modes. You can see that the light on the guitar has now changed. So now it's in the electric guitar mode. Oh, sweet. And then you can still carry on cycling. I think we've got four different modes. So this is another electric guitar. And then this one is my favorite. We like farts. The fart guitar. Hilarious. Yeah. So the kids can... Showing how different each one of these is. It's yeah. awesome. Exactly. Lego Boost out August. August, yep. Yeah. Remind me of the price point? 159.99. That's a steal. This is hours of activity here. Stay tuned. Toy Fair 2017. Gadget of the day.